Yep, this is my truck. Nope, I won't help you move. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to turn off this incredibly loud pickup truck. Uh, but boy, she sure is a beaut, isn't she? Oh, man, I love her. Him, it, whatever. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so yeah, it is uh, April 1st. I have uh, slipped into the next month, and as expected, we have several contracts uh, to do. Let's see, the, the bales are 98% fermented. Yep, 98%. So later on today, they will turn into silage, and then we can throw them into the storage. Uh, so that is done. Um, our field should be growing, and um, it's fertilized because we rolled it, so that's going to be good to go for us. And, yeah, so I think it's time for us to do some contracts, some contracts. Uh, I didn't look at the eggs. Let's go take a look at the eggs. We're still waiting for the other chickens to... The two thirds of the chickens to to mature, so we can get more egg production. But we do have a full pallet there, so when we do go sell our produce, we'll also grab that pallet when the time comes. Um, so yeah, it is contract time. It is April first, and we got a bunch of baling contracts. We got a fertilizing contract. Let's go ahead and take that right now. Whole bunch of weeding contracts. You know what I might do with those? Well, I don't know. If a weeder comes up on sale, I might buy one of those. The problem, though, is the last time I tried to have the AI do some weeding, it really glitched out. So I don't know. These are really just not worth it, though, especially, you know, if you use their stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I, I, I don't really want to do this, but we do want to do the bailing. So what we're going to have to do here, I don't see the, the big field, our favorite field 71. It should pop up. I might just need to refresh these contracts here. And which one? Okay, so this is silage. That is hay. That's silage. That's hay. That's hay. And that's silage. And that's hay. There's a lot of hay. I'd rather do silage because silage is much more lucrative and less work. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to clear all the contracts except for the one we accepted and then refresh. Okay, so there's a bailing contract. That's hay. Uh, okay, we got some more fertilizers. Would Those would just automatically take. Um... Yeah, that's uh okay, let's try it again. Let's do clear contracts and then new contracts. Here's field 71. Oh man, but they want hay instead of silage. Doggone it. Well, they do have the crone and we want that for sure. So, yeah, you know what? We can do hay. We'll do hay. Um so I'm going to borrow these items so we have all of that equipment and then everything else we're just going to straight up accept whether it's hay or silage I don't care it doesn't matter we're going to do it we got some more fertilizing there too okay so let's refresh okay so we got more baling we'll just take those straight up we've got a deal now you know with the townsfolk that I can use their equipment for everybody else's stuff as long as I wash their uh, equipment and fuel them back up when we're done. So thanks to Mama Joe, we were able to do that. Townsfolk are pretty happy with us. We've done good work for them. You know, we've lived here now in Elm Creek for over two years, and you know we're we're pretty popular with people. You know, all of the all of the younger folks uh, and even some of the older ones in town that don't have anything better to do will come and work for us when when we uh, need some help. And yeah, things are going really well. Plus, everybody thinks my truck is absolutely incredibly sexy and that makes a big difference <laughs> so anyway okay so um more contracts to go okay there's a new baling we'll take that and there's a new fertilizing we'll take that two more fertilizing nice man i thought we already fertilized every single field on the map last time <laughs> more weeding nah weeding sucks we don't like weeding okay let's clear and see but if anything other than weeding pops back up again you guys need to take care of your own weeds sorry i'll fertilize for you i'll mow your hay and bale it 
I'll plow your fields and cultivate, but I ain't pulling your weeds. You don't pay enough money for that. And that's some hard work. Okay, so it looks like that's what we're going to get uh, for April. So I don't know if we're going to make six figures on this or not, but we're going to make a pretty nice little chunk of money nonetheless. So, yeah. I might, you know, I might, if I can come across a, a decent sized weeder on sale, uh, which we need to look at, by the way, I might buy it and then I would maybe take these, but it's just not worth it to take them and use their equipment. And of course, I don't have a weeder right now. Uh, oh, 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 look at that. They stage everything here because we have the new shop thing. Oh, that's cool. Look at the size of this baler. Oh, my goodness. Big... Baylor 1290 high density. Now that, my friends, is what you call a Baylor. <laughs> that is awesome, man. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, so we got ourselves a nice uh, Kloss uh, large tractor there. We got our favorite haying machine in the whole world, the Crone. And yeah, very nice. Okay, cool. So, um, what was? We, oh yeah, we were gonna check the we were gonna check the sales. Look at that lizard tank. Okay, so what's this? This is a high dump bucket. Uh, what? What is this for? Though is this for front loaders, or is it for telehandlers, or is it for skid steers? It doesn't. It doesn't say. It's got four thousand liters though, which isn't bad. What's this? That's a forage wagon, and that is a sugar beet. Yeah, that's the sugar beet. In fact, that that's I think that's the machine we used when we did that big sugar beet. Look, two hundred forty-three thousand dollars, a fifty-one percent off too. I mean, this thing is almost a half a million dollars, brand new. No, ain't gonna happen. Okay, this is kind of tempting. Uh, thirty-two thousand liters. Oh my goodness, we could fill almost all of the greenhouses up in in one one shot with that thing. Look at that gorgeous trailer, man. Can does this hold water? Yeah, it well, actually it holds water and fertilizer and herbicide and milk. All of those things. <sighs> what we could do is we could sell our two existing tanks and buy this cuz we can use this for both fertilizer and for water. And for milk later on, if we wanted to. That boy, that sounds like a good deal, you guys. That thing is normally around fifty grand if it's sixty-six percent off. Oh man, I think we maybe should do that. This is also um this is also interesting to me. It's a four thousand liter bucket. If we what is the normal front loader bucket? It's not very big. It doesn't doesn't have a lot of capacity. Yeah, see, this this is the front loader bucket. It's only 1,000 liters. The, the thing about this, though, is I don't think this fits on a front loader. This kind of looks like maybe a skid steer attachment. I wish it told us that. This tool can be used to load goods on your trailer, but it doesn't tell us... It's a McCormick, too, but it doesn't tell us... Um, what type of thing it goes with. Okay, you know what we could do though? If we went to, I think that's a skid steer tool. So if we go here, no, it isn't a skid steer. Okay, is it a telehandler? Nope. Is it a wheel loader? Yeah, it's a wheel loader bucket. Okay. Well, we don't have a wheel loader. We probably aren't going to have one anytime soon. I do have one in the on the multiplayer server for logging. Well, actually I rent one. Um, okay. Yeah. So that's not really something we need then. Right. But this, I think we're going to do this, you guys. I think we're going to do this uh, because we're going to make quite a bit of money today. So yeah, let's, um, let's do this. We are going to purchase the, oh, wait a second though. No, that should work on the fifth wheel of our pickup truck. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of save scumming here just to make sure I don't screw something up here. Uh, so let's save the game first. Um, I, I'm pretty sure it should fit right there on the fifth wheel attachment though. 
Uh, you know what we should do is let's let's actually move this out of the way because when we buy that trailer, it's going to come. Uh, it's going to want to go right where we are. So let's put this flatbed back over here for now. One thing I've noticed too is I can't attach the lines to the truck. It's too far away. You know, so, so that means I don't have my lights on this trailer when I'm pulling it. So the cops probably aren't going to appreciate that, but hopefully uh, we won't get caught. <laughs> so anyway. Okay. Let's park you right there and turn your extremely loud engine off. All right. We are going to purchase this. Oh, put it way over here. Look at that beautiful trailer, you guys. Beautiful tanker trailer. Oh, man, it's awesome. Okay. Now, um, let's jump back in here. I want to make sure I can actually attach to it. We should be able to, but I just want to double check. Oh, that makes seeing out the back window very difficult, doesn't it? All right, well, we're not going to be able to back up in first person in this truck. Okay, so yeah, this one we can attach automatically because apparently we can't get underneath there to attach it ourselves. Look at that tanker. Oh, it's awesome. I love it. I love it. Okay. And our massive 400 plus horsepower pickup truck can pull it like it's nothing, like it's made of feathers. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and let's unattach from that. I don't think we have any fertilizer left in this tank if we do we're gonna we'll, we'll just put it in the greenhouses yeah there's no there's no way to hook up the lines on these that's probably yeah, there's 4% of fertilizer in here. That's probably, my guess is that's probably an oversight on the mod author's part. But we're just going to have to pretend like it's, all, all the lines are hooked up so we don't, you know, get pulled over. <laughs> okay, so let's sell the rest of this fertilizer. There wasn't a whole lot in there to begin with. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go here and go here. And we're going to sell this. We're going to we're going to recoup almost all of our money just by selling these two trailers that we made buying the big one. So actually, you know, that kind of puts us back where we started from, but we have a really really nice trailer now. This is full of water, so we'll just here again dump this off in the greenhouses. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Hold on, I gotta pull forward a little bit here. Got it out. Hit the right key. There you go. Okay, so let's dump this water off. Yeah. I think we got a really good deal, you guys. Really good deal. Okay, that's full. Call up the store and have them come and get 
uh, this trailer here, which is going to be here. We sell that. All right, so we are more or less back up to where we started with on our money. But we have a really nice trailer. I just love that. Why don't we... Let's not put anything in it right now. We're going to leave it empty for now because probably the next thing we're going to need to put in here is fertilizer. So I don't want to put the water in there. Now, I'm guessing that in real life... You wouldn't use the same tank for fertilizer and, well, at least milk. Uh, or if you did, they, you'd probably have to do some serious cleaning of it first. But, you know, all of our water and all of our fertilizer is all going into the greenhouse anyway. So, you know, I think it'll work fine for our purposes. There we go. All right. That is just a gorgeous gorgeous tanker trailer we did good guys we did good okie dokie so i think we're finished uh with our pickup truck for now so let's just go park it over by the shop and we have got a lot of work to do i have not as of yet trusted the ai with fertilization i don't know if how efficient they are with it um, but they are very, they're very good at mowing and they can windrow and they can rake. So I think what we should probably do is get them started on field 71 with the mowing, windrowing. Well, we got a Ted also, and I can knock out these fertilizer contracts while they're working on that. I should probably try the AI on one field with the fertilizer and just see what they do, though. It's just that, you know, this spreader is adjustable. And I, I use those adjustments all the time and try and get the, you know, the optimum width. And I don't know if the AI is smart enough to do that. I guess there's only one way to find out, though, right? So at some point during uh, all of this contract work, I think what I'll, whoops, I think what I'll do is I'll have the AI um, try a fertilization field, and I'll watch them and see how they do. Anyways, all right, so let's hook some stuff up here and get to work. So we, we're starting off with $27,000, and I'm hoping I'm hoping by the end of, of the this contract work, we'll, we'll have six figures, but we'll see. We'll see. We didn't get a lot of, you know, silage... And there's a bunch of weeding contracts instead of more lucrative ones. So it's not as good as it could be, but we might still clear six figures. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Oh, you know what? I was going to look at one other thing. Is our, um, or not, well, it's not ours yet, but is this canola field blooming yet? Is it flowering? It is not. Okay, that's good because that means we can wait another month before we purchase it and do the bees like we've you know, tentatively, tentatively been planning on doing. So that works. All right, so let's get stuff hooked up. I'm going to have... Um, now, actually, you know what? I, I am going to use workers, but I don't want to overdo it either. So I think what we'll do is... Let's drive, let's have a worker follow us out in the tractor in the baler. We'll drive the crone out and get them started and then I'll come back and haul the rest of the stuff out to that field while the worker gets started. I'm just trying to, you know, do this as economically as possible, but I am definitely going to use the workers because otherwise it's just going to take me way too long to do all this myself. Okay, so let's go into here and here. And we want to select the Axion and go create job. Go to, and we want to send you to field 71. Um, and let's just have you park the baler up here for now. And don't run me over while you're at it. That baler is a 
on a monster, you guys. <laughs> this is so awesome. Okay. Now, let's hop into Crone. And... I... I think the Crone might actually have a hitch. I don't know if it does or not. Let's... Let's see. If we could take one of these out with us, that would be great. The Big M. I'm going to own this one day, you guys. I am indeed going to own it. Is there any way to hook stuff up here? No. Okay. I thought I saw a YouTube video a thumbnail or maybe it was a mod where somebody had connected a baler to the crone to do kind of what I do with my smaller setup but maybe they had some kind of a long neck mod thing for that but I'm not seeing any way to do that so I guess we'll just uh, I'll come back for those and bring them out in the in the pickup I know I could have another worker do it but I, I want to minimize um, using workers just so, you know, I don't have to pay him so much. So, yeah, let's head out on out to the field there. Uh, wait a minute. No, I'm going the wrong way. Got turned around there for a second. We're going down this way. This thing scoots along pretty good for a big old harvest harvester. It's a harvester of sorts, I guess. Harvester of grass. I wish they had alfalfa in the in this game. I, in fact, I think there are some modded maps that do have alfalfa. But it's just interesting that the Giants didn't put alfalfa in the farming simulator game. I mean, alfalfa is like the definition of hay. Well, that's some of the best kind of hay, I suppose. Where I grew up in central Washington State, there all of, well, not all, but most of the hay fields were alfalfa. There was, there was also some grass, too, but most of it was alfalfa. All righty. You know, one thing the worker's not going to do is get the stuff along the edges, so I probably better do that myself before I set them loose. So let's go ahead and get this guy ready to go. And we want to make sure that it is in wind rowing. Well, no. There's no point in wind rowing because we're going to have to TED anyways. So yeah, we don't, it does need to be in windrowing mode. I don't think there, there's a benefit to that anyway. So, okay. Because right now it's in widespreading mode, but that's probably fine, you know, since we have to TED it anyways, like I said. I mean, you can TED windrows, though. Maybe... Maybe we should do that. I, I mean, I'd, I've done it that way before, you know, with swaths. Because then you don't have to cover every single surface of the field. You just got to hit the swath. So, yeah, maybe we'll do that. Okay. All right. Let's do this. I love it. Okay, let's get the work going. Have at it, dude. How did we miss that piece of grass? Okay, cool. Um, so I'm going to go grab the windrower. 
And while the AI is still working, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull this first um, swath onto the field because uh, a lot of the times if I don't do that, I can't get to it because it's just right on the edge there. So let's detach that. Uh, I'm gonna get the tether out here too. Uh, I'll probably grab the tether first, and then I'll grab the windrower and come out and uh, get that windrowing done. You know what? I think I want my pickup out there too. So let's let's go ahead and have a worker uh, deliver this out there. Where are we at? We are up here. Okay, great job. Go to, and right here should be good. Yeah, that's fine. You can point that way. I don't care. That way, if I need to leave the field, I can use my pickup truck. I know I can teleport too, but I like to minimize doing that just because it's... I mean, I don't normally teleport when it's just me, but when I'm working with AI workers... What are you... Uh, yeah, they're okay. I use it just because I have to, you know, manage them. And the way I see it, I meant I, I mentioned this in a previous video. The way I see it is, is it would be like me calling them on a cell phone and saying, "Hey, how you doing? Give me an update on how you're doing that sort of thing." Um, that's a little irritating. Oh, are you saying that doesn't hook up to this? Oh yeah, because that. That needs a three-point hitch. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we'll have to send the tractor back for it then. So, yeah, I mean, in real life, I just call them on the cell phone to get an update or give them more instructions, but I can't do that, of course, in the game, so I just have to go there myself. So I'll use teleporting when I'm working with them, but when it's just me, I'd rather do things legit. For the most part. I break that rule on occasion, and I don't worry about it when I do, but it's not a habit. Oh, <laughs> we're still looking backwards. <laughs> and this is a nice truck. I love it. It's a little quieter inside the cab. partner pickup truck right here and we'll disconnect you and then take the tractor back and get the windrower that guy's making a good progress man look at him go by the time we're ready he's gonna be done mowing what I like to see oh they finally weeded that field all right we should keep our eye on it. If they put a crop on it, we might buy that too if we can afford it. Uh, but I want to get that canola field first. Okay, so like I said, we're going to go along the outer edge of the field and pull this, um, uh, pull this hay in. Let's see here. See if we can grab that little bit up there, too. Okay, that's not really doing much, so let's back up and approach it from a little closer in. Come on. Okay. Oh, we gotta lower it. We have to lower the tool if we actually want to use it. Kind of funny how that works. Is 
This is going to make like one big ginormous windrow. <laughs> it doesn't matter though because we're going to tet it and mix it back up any again anyway, so. Look at how thick that thing is. That's funny. All right, guys. Well, um, I think I'm going to cut the camera here and do the work. And uh, I will bring you back at some point with an update, and we'll go from there. So see you in a bit. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, I still have uh, the other worker working on finishing mowing field 71. I didn't want to keep uh, windrowing the, the outer uh, windrow or pulling in the outer windrow while he was still doing that cutting because I thought it might interfere with him. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and see if the AI can actually do the fertilizing job without wasting fertilizer. Okay, so here we go. We're all set up and ready to go. So I put them on a, you know, a pretty good sized field here. Let's just kind of follow him and see what he does. I'll be very, very impressed if he gets to that side of the field with a smaller spread area and he actually adjusts the spreader to compensate. Well, I don't know why I keep pulling my chainsaw out. Let's just see what happens here. This is about as easy as it gets on this part of the field. So is he going to stop? Okay, good. So he stops the fertilizer, so that's good. Let's just see how they do here. It's getting lined up. Okay, that's about more or less what I would do, but uh, the acid test is going to be over here because this is going to be a smaller spread, so we'll see if if they adjust the spread down so they're not, you know, overspreading. If they do, then we probably can trust the AI to do fertilizer jobs, but if he continues just using the big widespread, then then maybe not so much because it's just going to waste fertilizer. Now it looks like the other dude's done mowing. Okay. We'll we'll go back over there in a, in a moment and deal with that. What? Okay. What you going to do, dude? There's probably not enough room for for the AI to turn around. I don't know what it's doing. Oh, well, please don't tell me you're going to go that direction. <laughs> what in the world is he doing? Oh, he's done. <laughs> he said, okay, this is too hard for me. <laughs> okay. Well, hey, you know, I mean, that was a start though, right? Okay. Let's hop over to here. Um, there's a couple of spots that the AI missed. Um, so let's go around and get those real quick. And then I'm going to finish pulling in this outer row, and then I'm going to set the AI to work uh, with the tedding. Okay, let's go ahead and send the AI to the next hay field that we have to do. So let's see here, all these baling contracts are up there. The next biggest field's gonna be probably 18, I think. Yeah, 18. Uh, all these are up in, you know, kind of the northeast corner of the map, the rest of the hay fields. Uh, so yeah, let's go to here and we will select you create job i want you to do a go to and then once once they get up there we'll get them lined up and have them you know what we could try i don't know how well this is going to work but 
we could try and just have them go up and actually get started. Why don't we try it? And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But we'll have them start here and then go that direction. Maybe they'll get up there and they'll start in the right spot and, and get it done. We'll see. We'll find out. Okay, so that takes care of that. Uh, now I need to go to... Where do I need to go to? Uh, I need this tractor. Uh, here, yeah, let me just finish this fertilization job and then I'll go back to 71 and, and do the windrowing. Yeah, so it's, it's kind of too bad they don't know how to adjust the spreader. But I'd rather have them stop than use the big wide swath and, and waste a bunch of it, though, too. So I guess it is what it is. So let's adjust down to probably that width. And that's, I think that's what we're going to want, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. If we go smaller than that, it might be just barely not enough. We'll finish out this field, and then we'll head back over to 71 and finish that that work there. Uh-oh. Looks like it, we ran into a problem. Okay, we'll have to figure out what's going on with that. It's usually best for you to, you know, get the vehicle ready, get it lined up before you turn it over to them. Um... Okay, so that should finish this field here, and we can collect from that right now. Uh, wait, can we? Fertilizing active. Oh, did we not finish? Wait, what? What's going on here? This is field 42. Field 42 should be done. Oh, it's not, it's 99%. Really? What got missed? Uh, oh, yeah, there is a, there's a little spot over here. Okay. That's what it is. Didn't even notice that. There we go. Now we're done. Okay, so $3,000 make you holla. Okay, let's head over to 71 and get that windrowing finished. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to leave the spreader at the farm. I might... I'm probably going to actually use one of my tractors. Uh, with this, because this tractor I'm going to turn over to the AI to do the, the tedding. Let's just drop this off right here. Gotta lower it first. Okay. Why you ended up there, I have no idea. We're just gonna do a have them do a go to. Uh, so let's fold this up. Okay. Let's go back to here. Grab you. Go here. Great job. Go to. Let's see if he can handle that. All you gotta do is drive, man. Okay, looks like he's gonna be all right. Time will tell.
Okay, that's probably about as good as we're going to get it. I could maybe try and pull this in some more, but the problem with that is it's going to... Well, here, let's try this. If we go here... Get the big ones over the top of it. Okay, now let's drop down. Yeah, see, it doesn't doesn't really work too well. So hopefully, we can get to the majority of that little pile there. scratch the truck <laughs> it's a good thing we got that uh, that bull bar on the front okay now I hope that um, the AI won't have any trouble tedding with the windrows because normally you don't really ted windrows you can but that's not the norm. So I don't know if that will mess them up or not, but I guess we're going to find out here pretty quick. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and unfold this thing. Oh, that's right. This thing has got some width to it. I remember using this before. It's a pretty amazing machine. Look at that. We're gonna have to get one of those someday. Okay, so, yeah. Now, can we get in between these two windrows? Uh, we definitely will be able to do that with the inner ones, but this one's in a bit of an odd position. But yeah, it looks like we probably can. I just don't know if the AI is going to be able to handle this. We'll, let me get it started and we'll just see what happens. We're not quite getting that other row, but it's okay. Like I said, once we get this first outer row done, then that then we'll be able to hit two rows at a time easily. All right, let's just see what happens. Hmm, it seems... It's not really trying too terribly hard to hit the this row, but that's okay. This is the more important one for the first time around anyway. I missed some grass there, but I can't do anything about it now. I'm not bringing the motor back. Oh, speaking of which, is that guy at his destination now? If he, uh, we might have got... Yeah, he is. They might have gotten the message and I just didn't hear it. Okay, let's go get him started. Um, actually, I'm going to do the the first row because I want to grab some of this border, border grass, too. Pretty sure the AI won't do that. 